Tuesday at the Iowa State House. It's student day at the Capitol. For more on that event, I'm joined with Damian Thompson with Iowa Safe Schools. Thanks for being here, Damian. We appreciate it. Always happy to join you, Zach. So we were just talking uh, off air here that you guys have been doing this event for around five to six years. What's the purpose of Student Day at the Capitol? Absolutely. So as the Midwest's largest organization working with LGBTQ students, K through 12, over 10,000 every single year, a big part of our programming is making sure that their students' voices are heard. So we have this day every year at the State House to bring our students down to the state capitol, educate them on the issues, give them some training to prepare them for talking to their state legislators, and then let them go ahead and talk about whatever the issues are that matter to them. And I was looking up uh, the information on the event. You got photos here. You guys marched to the capitol, actually. Mm -hmm. So you meet somewhere else before and then march into the state house. Yeah, yeah. We are loud and proud, and we show up uh, at the state historical building, like I said, for that training uh, and have a nice lunch. And then we walk all the way up all those steps uh, to the state capitol. So folks know when we arrive, for sure. Familiar with those steps. There are a lot of steps <laughs> yeah. there, especially when you're carrying stuff. But, um, well, I guess what's the goal? Students, um, you know, speaking with lawmakers, um, what, what is the goal here for, for students? Is it just expanding on uh, what they believe is important to themselves and the LGBTQ community and just uh, um, voicing that, verbalizing that with lawmakers? Absolutely. And I would say, in addition to that, uh, year after year for the past few years, we've mm -hmm. seen continued and increased attacks on the LGBTQ community, specifically on transgender youth. And so we want to make sure our students are not only aware of that, but have the tools they need to ensure that their voices are also at the table. And uh, speaking of that, I guess, do you, does it make it this year more important uh, than maybe in years past, the last five or six years you guys have been doing it? We'll talk about that legislation coming up uh, in the next segment, but I guess this time, uh, coming up this Tuesday, isn't that much more important. With the Absolutely. Whether it's book bans, curriculum censorship, or bills that are going to actually put our students in direct danger, it is crucially important that they are up at the state capitol up on Tuesday uh, because all of these bills are live and moving. So to make it clear, we got a graphic for you, too, of uh, where you're able to register for the event. Uh, Damien, if, if you want to explain it for I think it's on Eventbrite here. There we go. We got the... Yeah, yep, it's a free event. Uh, register now so I can get my catering numbers in, please. But uh, the event is really catered for students, educators, and parents. So if you don't quite fit into that group, uh, just reach out to us on our website and we can figure out uh, if we can get a spot for you. But uh, please check out the Eventbrite, free reservation, and uh, the event um, opening at least starts at 8 a.m. on Tuesday. How many people so far? Uh, we have over 100, gotcha. over 100 students. Right. Big crowd on Tuesday. All right, Damian, thank you very much. Folks, stick around. We're going to be talking about LGBTQ plus legislation that's being introduced by Republican lawmakers.